Welcome to Lesson 7 in the FL Studio tutorial series. In this lesson, we're going to explore how to record steps and notes into the step sequencer in Piano Roll live using the step editor mode. As in the previous lesson, we'll program using our typing keyboard or any MIDI controller you may have working with FL Studio. For this lesson, you may want to load your step sequencer channels with some drums and an instrument that can provide a bass line as well as another multi-note instrument such as a synth or a piano. First, unless you're using a MIDI controller, make sure your typing keyboard is enabled to send notes to FL Studio by making sure the typing keyboard to piano keyboard switch is checked. Now make sure to turn on the switch that triggers step editing mode. It's the one with the foot beside it here. Let's also go up and adjust the snap quantization to what note length we want to add each time we hit a key. For now, I'm going to go with step to use in laying down some notes for the kick. If you hit a key on your keyboard, a green block will now appear and your step rectangles will change to a score. You can navigate where your next note will be placed by using the forward slash and asterisk keys on the number pad to move left or right. So if you wanted to put a note at every first step of each beat, you would hit the asterisk key three times after your first step and then play another note, then repeat. If you continue beyond the boundaries of the first bar, it will add another bar, yet does not lengthen your other channel, so be careful of that. This process works for all of our channels. Before programming another channel, go up and hit stop on the transport to move the pattern position back to the beginning. For our hi-hat, we may want to vary the note lengths so as to achieve some roll type sections. We can choose a note length from the snap quantization menu for part of our melody. Then we can choose another length to add variation. In programming our bass sound, you may find the bass instrument better suited to notes that are a full beat in length. For our synth instrument, we may also want note length variation. This time, instead of changing our snap quantization, let's try to add a long note by playing a key, then hitting the asterisk to advance the note to the right as long as we like based on our snap quantization. For chords, hold more than one key at a time and it'll add all notes at the same location. All of these notes and scores can now be edited more in the piano roll if you desire. Thus ends our lesson on recording live into the step sequencer and the piano roll using the step editing mode.